Ghana's vanishing natural splendor. In just a century, three quarters of this tropical rainforest has disappeared, cut down to make way for cocoa plantations. To stop the loss of its natural heritage, Ghana has created seven national parks like this one in Kakum. But the government knows it can't go it alone. We involve the communities because it's very difficult for us to do it all alone. And they've been very supportive because the park is so large, you know, 360 um, square kilometers. This village borders the park. Residents help out with surveillance. Villagers also have to first stop chopping down the forest. But they have noticed a change. What I can say right now, uh, once we are not entering the forest, the climate is very good. The rainfall here is very good, good for farming. No longer able to destroy the forest for income, the villagers are seeking compensation. They already get a share of ecotourism profits, but people complain of corruption and money's not received. There are no projects that have been labelled as such that this project uh, has been accomplished using the funds from ecotourism. If the communities can see a direct benefit coming from the forest to them, uh, I think that will help them to be more involved in protecting their forest. But for villagers here, there is no going back. They say even if the money never materialises, they will continue to protect their treetop treasure trove.